Hello, hello friends. After you're done drawing your vase, you can start to color in your flowers. I'm gonna color mine in the same way as I colored them earlier. So I'll start with this one. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to color the whole thing yellow. So my flower, the entire flower right here, I'm gonna color that in yellow. And I'm actually going to use the side of my crayon, just like that. And then I'm going to use my brown and I'm just going to fill in the middle area, going in circles. It kind of gives it a nice texture too. Okay, so I'm done with that one. Next, I'm going to do this flower. And I'm just gonna go around in the middle. And then, I'm just going to gently color in my flower. So I'm using a lighter color value. So remember, when you press really light, you get a lighter color. When you press hard, you get a darker color. Okay, and then next, I'm going to color in this flower. So maybe with this one, I'm gonna overlap. So start with my pink and then go over it with my orange. So I'm gonna go on top with my orange. This is called overlapping. And then I'm going to go back on top with my pink. And that's my flower, I overlap my colors. Okay, and then for this one, maybe I'll use the back of my crayon. Remember when we use the back of our crayon? Awesome, so that's a lot of fun. Next, I'm going to add light lines over here in this flower. Light lines, I wanna leave some white like closer to the top, but I'm just gonna add light lines on the bottom. And then over here, I'm going to color this in with a darker value. So that means I'm pressing harder. So you can see this purple and this purple, they're the same. But I press lightly here and I press dark here. And then over here, I just use the back of my crown. So it does look kind of different, even though I'm using the same exact color. It looks different on my paper. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with my yellow. This is actually the color of the college I went to. Our colors were gold and purple. Okay, and then now I'm going to start coloring in my stems. And I'm going to use a green, because it's a little bit darker than my crayon, because the only green crayon I have is a yellow green, because my dog ate my regular green. So I'm gonna use this marker for some of my stems and this for the rest because I want there to be some differences. I don't want them to all be the same as that color. So if you have multiple greens, go ahead and use them. Or remember, if you press hard, you'll get a darker color than if you press lightly. This one, I'm going to color it in completely with my marker. And then now I'm going to color in my vase. I'm just gonna make a couple different like patterns, something fun. 
So I have stripes right here. Maybe I'll do some stipling right here. Maybe I'll add some polka dots right here. And then I will end with some hearts down here. So just something fun so you can make your vase look however you want and that is it